and rescue teams in BC are local volunteer organizations called on primarily to assist the RCMP with searches and emergency rescues throughout the province. Teams are trained in first aid, rope rescue and rappelling, tracking, water searches and river techniques, winter operations, ATV driving and more. From rescue operations involving aircraft emergencies, automobile accidents, lost or injured hikers, or boaters in trouble, the search and rescue teams throughout British Columbia are always ready to help. Not every community has their own search and rescue unit, but when needed, teams from other cities, towns, and regions send members to assist in a mutual aid capacity wherever possible. With this large number of trained team members to choose from, the search manager is able to conduct successful searches in any terrain or weather. Search and Rescue assists in rescuing boaters, swimmers, and helping the RCMP with underwater evidence searches and body recovery. Water operations are conducted using private boats, specialized equipment like Zodiacs, and even underwater imaging. Mountains, lakes, rivers, and the wilderness are not barriers or obstacles which hold back the search teams. When a search is initiated, all members involved report to the search headquarters. It is from here that the search is monitored and controlled for the duration of the tasking. These command posts are outfitted with all the necessary tools and supplies to keep the search going throughout the night and day until task completion. A typical search and rescue tasking is led by a search manager whose responsibility it is to oversee and control all team members, equipment and to guide the entire search. The members are divided into teams, each with a team leader and are given tasks which match their skill levels, experience and qualifications. Search taskings can involve only a few members and be as short as a few hours, or can require the combined force of several regions and may last for days. Whenever search and rescue is called upon, they respond as fast as possible, day or night. Nighttime operations can be more difficult, but not impossible. Specialized equipment is often used from personal helmet-mounted lighting to portable infrared camera systems. Those units that do have night vision tools are able to use them to search out and track heat sources, especially in colder weather. In many cases, the team member with the night vision camera has been able to guide the search teams to otherwise invisible subjects. Team members are volunteer men and women from local communities who are focused on helping others in need, no matter what the situation is. People of all ages and from all walks of life get involved. Parents, young adults, doctors, lawyers, technicians, students, employers and employees alike. No experience is needed to join, since new members can be trained with all the skills they require in order to be useful as part of the overall team. Why are all these people involved? These volunteers give their time to become and stay qualified in all manner of search techniques. They leave their families with little notice when called upon because they know their efforts will save lives. Imagine the satisfaction the teams felt when they successfully found and saved two lost young girls after tracking them throughout the mountains overnight, or when they rescued a mountain biker who had badly injured his back. These search and rescue members can mean the difference between life and death when they're called upon. These volunteers form one of the most tight-knit groups found in British Columbia. They take great pride in being part of such an accomplished organization, and their recognition by the RCMP, other emergency organizations, and thankful families throughout the province is well deserved. Every individual learns to trust and support other team members. In fact, 
they regularly put their lives in the hands of their fellow teammates. This trust has developed a close sense of family within the unit, and members are proud to be part of such an elite team. By joining, you will have an opportunity to give back to your community, volunteer at a professional level, and contribute to someone else's life. Contact your local search and rescue unit right now. You will be trained. You can help. By that, I mean that they are highly trained, highly devoted, and yet at the same time, they pay for all of their equipment out of their own pocket, get very little reimbursement from the province, and as such, I think they're true heroes in this community. To join Search and Rescue, give me a call, and we put your name on a list. Uh, once a year, we take everybody that's on my list, we arrange a night to do an interview, talk to them all, uh, kind of pick their brains a little bit, gives them a chance to pick our brains a little bit. And then we narrow it down to 10 or 12 people and put them through a training course that involves map and compass, search techniques. You uh, found them? Excellent. Now, see, that's how it's supposed to end. <laughs> <laughs>